Oh, uh, pardon the bra. I was uh, rehearsing with a model. It was a 42G, and she left it here. Mm. Yeah, mm. I could use that as a, maybe a soup bowl or something. Mm. Just teasing you. Anyway, I'm a YouTube crooner for years now, since 07. I do it for my own fun, and I enjoy the good old music. But way before then, like in 66, I was quite young, uh, I went to a music arranger's house to have him write me some arrangements, and I noticed all around his walls were uh, movie posters. There's one called The Defilers. Movies I've never heard of, but sort of like action movies or uh, maybe sexy movies. And I asked him about it, he said, yeah, go see Dave Friedman, downtown LA, Sunny Amusements. So uh, right after he uh, took my music, the next day I went down to Sunny Amusements and met David Friedman. And he signed me for one film, playing a part, not the lead, but I get to be the guy who comes in at the end of the movie to teach the girl not to be such a man-hater. She messes up about four other men, and then I come along, kind of rough her up, and shake her around on the couch. That's not the real bee. I don't do that. Well, the name of the film, I forgot to tell you, is Smell of Honey, Swallow of Brine. Long title. It was definitely a bee movie. Uh, the actress, Stacy Walker, beautiful blonde girl, early 20s, played Sharon. I got to play Tony, the guy at the end who uh, gives her her lesson. And there was a couple other actors, and it was, let's see, directed by Byron May, produced by David Friedman. And it ran all over the place, as far as the United States, I'm sure foreign countries too. Once I was in San Antonio, Texas, a few years later, it was showing right there. Uh, here's what we did. It took about two or three days of filming, very little bit of rehearsing. Uh, we did it in a home in kind of the Studio City area. And this movie, uh, I thought I ruined myself by doing a film like this. She was, had everything on except just only panties. That's what she had on. Beautiful figure on her too. Very pretty blonde with blue eyes. Of course I was attracted to her, but uh, her fiance, an older man, was always about 15 feet away, kind of hawking her closely. So I didn't uh, try to be too fancy with her or nothing. But the reason I'm bringing this up too is that there's a uh, channel on YouTube called Squadillo, and he does a whole thing on the smell of honey. And when I saw that, I thought, well, I'm going to thank him for that, and I want to sort of uh, have you guys look at it, and I appreciate you watching this film right here. It's really an SD card. <laughs> so I'm Tony, played by Jerry Jansen. I don't have billing. I changed my name to Bob Todd. But anyway, it was quite an experience, and I never wanted to do another film. I just stayed with my songs. Thanks so much.